Hi, this is problem number 13 on uh, equilibrium of forces. Uh, there are two identical rollers, each weighing 400 Newton. Identical rollers means uh, the both the spheres are having the same diameter and same weight, 400 Newton. The weight is given as 400 Newton. 400 Newton and 400 Newton. Both are identical means they are having same diameter and the same weight are placed in a trench as shown in figure assuming that all contact surfaces are smooth determine the reactions at contact surfaces a b c and d okay so we have to find reactions at all the contact surfaces okay and we will write reactions at all the contact surfaces now reaction at contact surface d is Rd reaction at contact surface A is Ra and always those reactions are perpendicular to the plane of the support are perpendicular to the plane surface RA then RC RC then for sphere 1 okay see for sphere 1 there will be reaction from sphere 2 sphere 2 and for sphere 2 there will be reaction for from sphere 1 that is Rb and that reaction is equal and opposite to maintain the equilibrium. Okay. Reaction at contact surface is B. For sphere 1 reaction will be from sphere 2. For sphere 2 reaction will be from sphere 1. That is Rb. Okay. Now we have written all the reactions at the contact surfaces. Now next step is to find uh, horizontal inclination of all the reactions. For that, uh, we will just draw one horizontal here and one more horizontal here. Okay. So, angle of this inclined plane is 30 degree. Here it is 30, here 30, and angle of RA and RC with the plane is 90 degree, perpendicular to the plane of the surface. Okay perpendicular to the plane of the support always the reactions therefore 90 minus 30 you will get 60 degree as horizontal inclination of RA and here also 90 minus 30 60 degree okay then what about uh, the horizontal inclination of RB horizontal inclination of RB it is 30 degree it is 30 degree only because both the spheres are identical, correct? So we will have the same, we will have the radius here, like this, radius, okay? So line CA and this reaction RB, both are parallel to each other. So whatever the inclination of this plane, we have 30 degree, same angle will be there for RB. Because radius are same. Both are identical spheres. Okay, to this uh, determination of horizontal inclination of the reactions is over. Okay, now next step is to select a sphere. So you should select the sphere in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns. Okay, number of unknowns should not exceed two. Okay, in such a way you have to choose a sphere. See if you select a sphere one. Okay, this is sphere number one. This is sphere number 2. If you select sphere 1, no. For sphere 1, 
reaction is there at point D, there is reaction at C, and for sphere 1, there is reaction from sphere 2. R, R, B, R, C, R, D, there are three unknowns. Okay, therefore, you select sphere 2. If you select sphere 2 root, for sphere 2, there is reaction from sphere 1 and reaction at A. Only two unknowns are there. Therefore, initially, you select sphere 1, sorry, sphere 2. Select sphere 2. Sphere 2. Okay. Now, for sphere 2, you write the free body diagram. Okay. Free body diagram means it is a diagram which represents various forces acting on the system. Okay. What are all the forces acting on sphere 2? All the forces we have to write here. Initially, the self weight of the sphere, always it will act in downward direction, particularly downward direction along the direction of the gravity. 400 Newton force. Let me write a downward force of magnitude 400 Newton. Then for sphere 2, there is reaction at contact surface A. Okay, contact surface A. R A, R A, okay, R A, so R A for how it is acting in left top direction like this, so from this point, okay, you write R A force like this, R A, and horizontal inclination of R A is how much, it is, 60 degree okay and for sphere 2 for sphere 2 there is reaction from sphere 1 correct and it is acting towards right top direction like this like this r b and its inclination is how much 30 degree 30 degree okay Now, you find all the angles here, one, uh, uh, 90 plus 30, 120 on this side, 90 plus 60, 150, 150 and 360 minus 150 minus 120 will be the remaining angle, uh, that angle you will get it as 90 degree, 90 degree, okay. Now, apply the Lamy's theorem, you will get R A R B, applying Lamy's theorem R A divided by sin 120 is equal to 400 divided by sin 90 is equal to R B divided by sin 150. Okay. Now considering first and second equation, you will get R A. R A is equal to 400 sin 120 divided by sin 90 the answer is Ra is equal to 346.41 Newton 346.41 Newton next Rb is equal to considering second and the third equation you can solve for Rb that is Rb is equal to 400 sin 150 divided by sin 90. Therefore, Rb is equal to 200 Newton. You will get answer as 200 Newton. Okay. Now, we got Ra as 346.41 Newton. Let me write those answers here. Ra is equal to 346.41. 4 1 Newton. Okay. RB as 200 Newton. 200 Newton. Okay. Now you can select sphere 1. At sphere 1, only two are known. Now RD and RC. RB is already known. Already we have calculated. Okay. Now sphere 1. Sphere 1. Select sphere 1. For sphere 1, I will write the free body diagram. Initially, the sulfate always in vertical downward direction. 400 
newton then rd it is in right direction like this rd then rc is there it is acting in left top direction along the left top direction like this rc and horizontal inclination of rc is 60 degree 60 degree then for sphere 2 sorry for sphere 1 there is reaction from sphere 2 like this okay in left bottom direction like this that is rb that answer we already know that is 200 newton 200 newton and horizontal inclination of rb is how much 30 degree 30 degree okay now there are four forces you cannot apply the Lamy's theorem you have to use uh, equilibrium conditions so before using equilibrium conditions you need to write the components for rc vertical component is rc sin 60 horizontal component is rc cos 60 for rv means for 200 newton force horizontal component is 200 cos 30 and vertical component is 200 sin 30 now apply the equilibrium conditions applying equilibrium condition sigma fx is equal to 0 sum of forces in x direction is equal to 0 therefore 200 cos 30 acting in left direction sin is minus 200 cos 30 and rc cos 60 acting in left direction minus rc cos 60 then rd force acting in right direction sin is plus rd is equal to 0 ok call it as equation number 1 rc and rd both are unknown in this equation go for the next condition now sigma f y is equal to 0 sum of forces in y direction is equal to 0 200 sin 30 force acting in downward direction minus 200 sin 30 and rc sin 60 acting in upward direction sin is plus rc sin 60 and 400 newton force acting in downward direction minus 400 is equal to 0 by this you can get the value of rc that that answer is 577.35 newton you get the rc value as 577.35 newton now substitute the value of rc in equation 1 okay therefore minus 200 cos 30 minus 577.35 cos 60 plus rd is equal to 0 here in this equation only rd is the unknown parameter uh, if you solve for rd you will get the answer as 461.88 newton okay now we got the values of rc and the rd rc is 577.35 577.35 newton rd is equal to 461.88 newton 461.88 newton okay so to this we, we have solved reactions at all the contact points a b c and d okay so to this uh, uh, this problem is over. Thank you.